Fraud and scams are on the rise, and if you're visiting family for Christmas, it's a great time to check on elderly parents and their finances. In today's Financial Friday, 48's Haley Baker has more on red flags to look for and how you can intervene. A lot of times, to our older population, they have it's a little bit more easier to tug at their heartstrings, right? So you'll have bogus charities actually starting to connect or contact them saying, you know, we need money. Redstone Federal Credit Union's Denise Cassidy is in charge of looking into suspicious activity and financial crimes. And she says elder fraud is on the rise. Huntsville, Alabama is very favorable right now for people to retire here. We have a lot to offer. So the more growth we have, the more we're going to be seeing it. According to the National Council on Aging, nearly 5 million Americans become victims each year. And Cassidy says that's a low estimate. A lot of times people do not necessarily report it because they're afraid to or they're embarrassed, the older population. So as you and your family are making the rounds this holiday season, she says it's really a good time to take notice of financial red flags. You're noticing that perhaps in their home that there is a stack of unpaid bills. You should be taking a little bit more interest. The purpose behind that is that maybe someone has been using your parents information to have loans or they're coercing your parent into actually taking out loans, even a family member. So it gets to the point where they cannot pay these bills. And if you do find something suspicious, she says there are ways you can help. Take it as a point of how can I help you? How can I help you to do your finances more easily? Things such as, it could be something just as minute as, let's set up some auto pays for you, such as your utilities and things like that. So that's one thing else they do not need to do. For today's Financial Friday, I'm Haley Baker, 48 on your side. No.